Morning. May 2nd, 11.22, London time. 9.22, is it? No, 8.22. 8.22, New York time. <clears throat> and West Coast, you can figure it out. <laughs> um, yeah, it's amazing. I haven't really talked about Ethereum in, too, in my, many of my videos. I'm, I mentioned it in pass, passing, but I think this is going to be a dedicated Ethereum vid. So, 19 minutes and 58 seconds on Ethereum, <laughs> right? Um, I think yesterday's video I was talking about Bitcoin and I was talking about the flipping and how it is very likely to occur. Um, you know, it just needs on the ETH BTC. Um, in the ETH BTC, what was it? I think it's actually not 0.2, as I mentioned. I think it's around 0.16. I think there's six times more supply of uh, Ethereum. So that's a triple, a triple out performance is required to uh, flip BTC to God coin. And uh, we, we all almost came close in 2017. Isn't that amazing? Um, you went from launch, what? 2015 Ethereum launched or end of 2014. No, I think it was 2015, right? Um, and it almost overtook uh, the original crypto, the OG coin that has been around since 09, eight years. And Ethereum nearly overtook it in two years. Um, so it outperformed to the upside, and then the bear market. I think it was 95% retracement, Ooh, 1,400 to, uh, quick math, down to like 80 bucks. Yeah, it's around 94%. Uh, but, you know, even Godcoin BTC uh, went from 20 to 3,200 or something. What was that? No, 80, 84%. So there was that. Overperformance on the upside to by Ethereum in 2017, 2017, and during the bear market, it only actually did slightly worse. Uh, so there you have it. Its first bull and bear cycle, it did okay. What was Bitcoin's first bull and bear cycle? Uh, Shall we have a look? Do I have the Bitstamp uh, chart? Bitcoin Coinbase, Bitfinex, will Bitfinex? Uh, is this the stamp? Okay, I know it's a Ethereum video, but we're comparing it against the Master God Coin. So, what would you consider Bitcoin's first bull market? It's got to be this, right? Um, or maybe it's that. Yeah, it's that. So what? Uh, fair. Uh, Eleven six three did it for me. Down to 152, 90%. Similar, similar to Ethereum. So Bitcoin's only done one bull cycle, one bear cycle, two bull cycle, second bull market, third bear market, and the third, wait, wait, wait I just said that wrong, didn't I? Bull market number one, bear market number one, bull market number two, bear market number two, Bull market number three. And what is the bear market going to look like? That is the question. It's not going to go back down to 10K, will it? That would be improbable. When Elon, Coinbase, PayPal, why did you floor around here? Um, and also, people want to buy expensive stuff out of reach of normal people. When Bitcoin hits 100K, you want to see more rich people want to buy it. Incredible as that sounds, it is true. So back to Ethereum. Back to Ethereum. Uh, let me take a swig of coffee. Ah, super hot. That's good. I can handle it. Biology can handle the heat. I bring the heat. <laughs> I bring the heat. Um, so, 
Uh, is these fib pullbacks correct? Kind of, not really. Did I draw them correct? Why did I draw them like this? Mm, anyway, we had the confluence. Let's get rid of this one. This is a confusing one. And what is this? Okay, this is a bigger one. This is a more important one, right? Because look, 1.618, We're almost there, within touching distance. Uh, June. June's like to hit 5K, right? June, 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 somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Yeah. <laughs> this cat robot is calling it. Look, but look at the angle. Look at the angle of attack. I call it angle of attacks because it's war. It is crypto war. Uh, Bitcoin maxis don't like Ethereum still. Even this, even though it's providing second layer solutions, it's providing tech on the privacy side, with ZK rollups, etc. And how is ETH Berlin going? Uh, well, I don't know. But the price action says, good. Break. Retest. What was the retest of? This high. Uh, 1400 is old high, 2017. Broke. Retest. Test, test. Up. I wanted to make sure. But then we've got the catalogs. It went down to 15. Didn't hit the top. That's your signal when it went purple, right? Uh, gave you confidence. And 15, 1600 to 2100. Consolidation sideways. Break. Pop. There's a lot of money to be made if you know what you're doing. Pull back, test on this side. And the test. Look at that. That was, people may have got burned here. Was this the? Yeah, this was a Bitcoin essing the bed, right? But look, test, test. This is a daily chart. Two daily candles, right? It's very nice action indeed. Very tradable if you are experienced. And like I mentioned in this morning's video. Um, these kind of swings and moves, and what happens on the weekend where you're asleep, it's, it's, it's really tough. So maybe just doing margin, uh, you know, get your one coin and uh, make it two coins, right? But even that, you, there's potential for that to be wiped out. Maybe 1.6x, 1.7x on the margin, so you can sleep at night. I think Coinbase, release margin products right a couple of years ago and i think the max leverage was 3x so look into that check how much they charge you know overnight they will charge you interest for that to hold there's a carry cost to margin leverage you need to know the rules of the game um i think it had enough of this chart right um FBTC, like I was saying, the flipping is going to be a lower number than I imagined, right? Uh, and I'm not too sure that the coins, new coin supply, supply, how that is going to, is it going to be coin burning? Is our fees going to be paid in ETH? Who gets the ETH? Does the ETH get burned? You know, is it going to go deflationary? I'm not a big fan of deflationary crypto assets to be honest i'm cool with inflation uh you just gotta make sure the inflation gets rewarded to the right people right um people providing the backbone to transactions to your network should be rewarded they're providing computing power um interesting thing about ethereum one of the biggest node holders is Consensus, the company that created Ethereum. It is a company. They employ a chief scientist called 
uh, who's Canadian Russian called Vitalik. <laughs> I'm giving some uh, basic stuff here. <laughs> kind of, I'm kind of ingesting as well. So, what? How many coins does Vitalik have? I don't know, like thirty thousand, I think thirty thousand Ethereum. Um, but I bet you Joe Lubin's got way more. I bet Joe Lubin keeps Vitalik on a tight leash. Trust me. Um, it would be easy to do that. He's a kid. He's a grown man. Who's got the power? Joe, isn't it? Um, it's his company. He employs him. Um, oh, what was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought. But look at his chart. The flippling will occur. The flippling will occur. Uh, area. Nicer, isn't it? Um, so just bowling action. You got your inverse head and shoulders. You got your inverse head and shoulders. I need to. Uh, I can actually. Uh, 04, 015, that's 65, 65 next target ish, 65 right there. All right, all right, oh boy, having issues, having issues here. Did my recording stop? Oh no. It may have. Um, there we go. I'm back. <laughs> Literally, I can see my timer just hang up on me. Wow, weird. You know, something like that. Flipping. Um, so also, we've got you features, right? See me. I mentioned this the other day. And here's the thing, right? Um, if Bitcoin is the commodity base layer of the crypto complex, and you can imagine it as a plot of land, maybe you can imagine it is a, a big lot in Manhattan in the 1800s. Uh, I think I've had this idea for a long time. How much is Central Park worth? A lot, a lot, a lot. How much are the sky rises on billionaires road right on central park a little strip of land is way worth is worth way more than central park which is huge ethereum is billionaires row right that's how you gotta imagine it right um btc dominance crashed getting crashed again again i mean just look at all waterfall it's a waterfall. Um, is there anything more I can say about Ethereum? Mm, okay, I've got a fresh chart, or a bit stamp. I just added it before I came on. Let's have a looky loo. Let's have a looky loo. Uh, I'll do a line chart. And now let's compare against Bitcoin. Why not? When is it overperformed? When is it underperformed? I'm gonna to have to do it weekly. Uh, what happened there? Did I lose everything? Uh, oh, here we go. I did lose everything, but there we go. There we go. Can you see that? And let's minimize. There we go. Okay, and. Let's see if I can compare against Bitcoin. Bitcoin, it's going to be the BLX, right? BLX. Uh, Femex. What if I do Brave New Coin? Brave New Index or something, right? Um, oh, my computer's frozen up. Brave. New, I think it's called index, right? Oh, all right. Mm. 
is that right? Uh, invalid signal. Okay. I'm gonna have to reload. Oop, no, I might not do that. Okay, let's get out of this. Oh, a disaster. There we go. A disaster, but let's try again. Bitcoin. Should be coming up first. Bit hum might work. Hmm. BTC. I'm gonna find it for you guys. Mm. Oh geez, what well, my computer is this is it running some sort of program in the background? Oh geez. I'm gonna have to call this video. This my computer's uh spazzing out. This is not good vid. There we go. So I'll just do Coinbase. Yeah, let's just do Coinbase. I lost it all. I'm going to do this. I'm going to succeed. <laughs> best time will work. Let's do best time. Oh, I've got something. This is a huge lag on my computer right now. I think it's. I've had it on for days and weeks. That's why I need to give it a rest. Bitfinex. Okay. Which one's uh, better for us? For our purposes. Yeah, get rid of Bitfinex. Here we go. And give it this. Move. Okay, here we go. This is what I really wanted to show you. These are your percentage gains, right? On this um, axis. On this axis. So Ethereum way outperformed Bitcoin during 2017. BTC did 3,000%. Is that correct? These numbers will change as I scroll in and out. But what you want to see is this, right? And even during the bear market, didn't I say Ethereum was weaker? It was weaker right this part, but during the first phase, it held up. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to try and keep not scrolling. It's been outperforming. July 2020. July 2020, Bitcoin has now been caught up to Ethereum. I, this is why I bothered and labored to get this chart out. Um, okay. 23,533%. What's that in X? Um, is that 235x? Maybe. Bitcoin. 10,000% return. This is, this, these numbers are kind of weird, but, um, but what you want to see or need to understand, Ethereum is uh, outperforming by Bitcoin by 2.3%, going all the way back, going all the way back to 2016. And so will this trend continue? I don't know. Looks like Bitcoin's doing a consolidation phase where it might catch up. And catch up means get to there. But during this period, Ethereum could continue to skyrocket, right? Um, okay, my time is up and my computer is acting up. So I'll call it there.